What are you doing? Tag! You're it! I, I, I don't get it. I, I'm doing tagging to improve the SEO on my e-commerce website. Mark. What? You don't get it. That's not how it works. Tagging your website to improve your e-commerce site SEO is actually a very important topic. But it doesn't actually involve tapping anybody or tagging in anybody on the shoulder or in the side. It actually involves doing the right things with SEO tags on your website, and it's critical to your SEO. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's episode of Here's Why. Okay, Eric, now that we've established that site tagging is not a game, what are some of the real challenges with e-com sites? Well, there are actually a lot of challenges. First of all, almost any e-commerce business is extremely competitive. So that's a big one. Another is, you know, what do you do with content to make your site unique? But one of the biggest challenges with e-commerce sites is how do you implement faceted navigation in an SEO-friendly way? So can you tell me more about faceted navigation? Sure. So let's say you get to a page, and I always like to use the example of Zappos. So uh, it's a shoe site, so lots of shoes. So you get to a women's shoes page, okay. right? You can imagine that there's many different things a user might want to do there. They might want to sort the shoes from highest price to lowest if they're looking for something expensive, or perhaps the opposite. So that's what we call a sort order. They might want to filter it down and only show shoes under $100 and not show the ones over $100. So that's what we call a filter. And then finally, there may be so many products on that page that you don't show them all on the same page. Uh, so you might have multiple pages, and we call that, guess what? Pagination. And so those are all examples of faceted navigation, and they're things that e-commerce sites do to make themselves uh, easier for users to deal with. Okay, so what are the SEO solutions to the problems that causes? You know, I thought you would never ask. And there are actually many different solutions and there are different tags that are worth understanding what they are. So the first is a no-index tag. What a no-index tag does is, what you might guess, is it tells the search engine to not include a page in the index. So if you have a page that you see as poor quality, uh, you might use a no-index tag so Google won't try to index that page. Uh, next up is what we call a rel canonical tag, which is a way of saying, hey, I'm actually just like a copy or a partial copy of another page. So here's my page that I put a rel canonical tag on, and I point it to another page here, which I consider the master copy. And I'm telling Google, for ranking purposes and link gathering and you know putting in the search results, Ignore me, send all my credit over to this master page. And then the last one are prev next tags, uh, which is what you use in the case of pagination, where basically on page one of a sequence of pages, let's make that page one, you send a tag saying, put a tag saying that the next page is here, that's page two. And on page two, you have a tag that points back to page one and says, here's the previous page. And a tag points forward to page three, so here's the next page. All these things help search engines understand what you're doing with your faceted navigation. Well, okay, thanks, Eric. But you did a study uh, in which you looked at some major e-commerce sites and to see if they were implementing the things you just shared with us correctly. What did you find? Can you share some of the stats from that? It was a nightmare. Hmm. I'll tell you that we know of two major e-commerce sites that implement rel canonical instructions from their, uh, all their faceted navigation pages to the home pages of their sites which is basically telling Google to like, send all that link value and SEO value to the home page of the site. And that's just really bad. The relevance and everything is, is just horrible SEO. Don't do that. But even at a much uh, simpler level or perhaps a more complicated level, 25% of the sites, the pages that we looked at, are using these SEO tags that relate to faceted navigation in a way that conflicts with one another. 
Mm -hmm. So they might know index a page and have a rel canonical uh, instruction on it as well. And those two instructions are different instructions that the search engine has to figure out which one to do with. And then more broadly, 50% approximately of all the URLs we looked at were actually using the tags either incorrectly, so in, like in the wrong place, uh, or not using them when they should be using them. So by the time you're done, about a quarter to 35% of the pages uh, are actually using these tags in the right way. Just to explain what I said a little more clearly here, the numbers I gave you added up to more than 100%, and that's because the conflicting plus the improper use are you know, overlapping. But at the end of the day, only about 35% of the pages we were looked at were using the tags properly. Wow, those are amazing statistics. And you can go and see that full study uh, following the URL that's on your screen right now. You'll get some helpful tips there as well that will help you to evaluate if your site has these problems and how you might be able to repair them. And if you want to say thank you, the best way you can do that is share this video and share that study with your friends. We'd also love to invite you to always come back every Monday for another Here's Why video when we give you the why behind the what in digital marketing. Thanks.